Do you know, I'm so impressed with you learning all this stuff. Can you see how this took me two years to learn? I'm sure you probably can, can't you? There, there is, as I said before you came on board, there is a lot to learn. But again, most people are never going to learn this sort of stuff. And it really, it's not that complicated when it's broken down and taken really step by step, is it? Things like this, you know, contract addresses. I know at first it's a bit like, oh, hang on, what's this? I'm a bit confused. But we do it a few times. It's all going to be OK. And you hardly will ever need to add a contract address as well. But I just want you to know how to do this, particularly if you are sending Ethereum from your Ethereum network in MetaMask to your BNB chain in MetaMask, then you will have to add a contract address. So let's go and do that. So just so we're clear, what we're about to do right now is we are going to add the Ethereum contract address to the BNB chain in MetaMask. And then when we've added that, then when we send some Ethereum to the BNB chain in MetaMask, we will be able to see it. Because at the moment, you remember in the BNB chain in MetaMask, it's only listing the asset BNB. So we need to tell all the other assets. We need to kind of give their, if you like, their, their account number, if you like. So then when we send something in, we can actually see it. You'll see what I mean. Let's go back to my MetaMask. Let's go to Google. OK, here we are. Let's click on Mr. MetaMask and MetaMask will pop open. And first thing, we want to check that we're working in the correct network and we are in the BNB chain, which is the correct network. That's now where we want to add the Ethereum contract address to. So BNB chain, here's our BNB cryptocurrency. Now we want to add Ethereum. So when we send Ethereum, we'll be able to see it just like we can see the BNB. So we need the contract address for Ethereum for the BNB chain now. I'm just going to put it below this video for you. You can find it online if you know what you're doing, but this is essentially the address here. It just looks like a, you know, a, an account number, doesn't it? So this here is what you'll need to copy, and it's below this video. So once you've copied it, back in MetaMask, it even says here at the bottom, you may have spotted this, it says, don't see your tokens, import tokens. This is exactly what we're doing. So I want to click here where it says import tokens. And now it's saying, add your token contract address. So this is exactly what we've just copied. So let's paste it there. By default, you can see the symbol for Ethereum is just populated, ETH. This will always be 18. Don't even need to worry about that. Click on Add Custom Tokens. Now look, it's saying that it's going to add this token. Do you want to import these tokens? Do you want to import the Ethereum token? This is kind of what it looks like. At the moment, there's a zero balance. Yes, we do. Let's click Import Tokens. Now look what happens. Now, if I go back to my main account in the BNB chain, look, we got the BNB, and look now what we've got. Look, you've added Ethereum to the BNB chain. How cool is that? So let's just keep going because I want you to be excited about this. So if I now toggle back to the Ethereum network, look, here is our actual Ethereum itself. So here's our actual money in Ethereum, but it's in our Ethereum network. But now, if we go back to the BNB chain, we now have the option to at least have Ethereum here, or at least see it when we send it. So all we now need to do is, and this is the whole point of part four, is bridge this Ethereum here, this 0 0.07 Ethereum. I want to send it from my Ethereum network to my BNB network. But I had to add the contract address first of Ethereum. So when we send it over, what will happen, of course, is when we send it over this or zero, because obviously there'd be nothing there unless we don't send all of it. And then whatever we send, of course, will then appear here. And again, the only reason we're doing this is because when it comes to depositing into our DeFi protocol to earn us a passive income, we have to do everything through the BNB chain. Now, this is why, do you remember me saying, was it in week one or was it in the pre-training? I'm forgetting now. Was it this, this week? Gosh, we've done so much. Do you remember me saying that if you purchase BNB on Binance, there's one less thing for you to do? This is that less thing. Because if you purchase BNB on Binance and you sent it to your MetaMask wallet, as I've showed you how to do, look, we've already got stuff in the BNB chain here. Admittedly, it's not Ethereum, it's BNB, but that's still okay. It's in the BNB network in your MetaMask. But because you bought Ethereum, Ethereum wasn't. So essentially, we're bridging from the Ethereum network to the BNB network. We're sending this Ethereum here. I know you know this now. I'm just wanting to really make sure we're sending this Ethereum here. 
in our Ethereum network in MetaMask, and we're going to send it now to here. Now we've added the contract address, so at least we can see it. Check you out. Okay, let's summarize. What did we accomplish in this video? Well, let me remind you, before any asset can show in MetaMask, we need to add the unique contract address of that asset first to MetaMask. And I just showed you how to add the contract address of Ethereum to the BNB chain network at MetaMask. Again, I sometimes still catch myself thinking, you know, look at even that last sentence, adding a contract address of Ethereum to the BNB chain network at MetaMask. I mean, there's eight words there that I bet a week ago you wouldn't have known any of them. And now hopefully you're beginning to at least get a kind of a rudimentary understanding. Yes, you might need to play this video again or ask a question at any time in the group. But are you beginning to kind of think, yeah, I sort of, sort of logically understand this process? Again, learning these new skills, this is what's going to set you apart from everybody else. So again, brilliant, well done. Let's carry on. What do I want you to do now? Well, I want you to go and do exactly this. Could this font be any bigger on this? <laughs> uh, go and add the Ethereum contract address to your BNB chain in MetaMask. So I just said here two days ago, this would have meant nothing to you, right? And the Ethereum contract address that you need is below this video. So just copy and paste it. Copy it carefully. You need to have every single um, digit, obviously. Whew. How do you how do you feel? Do you think you can add a contract address? Let me know. Would you feel confident doing this? Basically, it's copy and pasting, isn't it, really? But can you see now, if you kind of follow anybody online or go to a YouTube video, they'll just say, grab the contract address and paste it in your MetaMask. And it's like, when I first started, I was like, that doesn't mean anything to me. I don't know what that means at all. So um, we're almost done for part four of week one. See you in the next video. Let me know how you're feeling below. I really want to know. Let me know in the comments.